Lindsay Buckingham has been fired from Fleetwood Mac. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. Mike Campbell of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers and Neil Finn of Crowded House have been brought in to replace Buckingham. Rolling Stone magazine is reporting that Buckingham was fired over arguments about Fleetwood Mac's upcoming tour. Mick Fleetwood told Variety magazine, Fleetwood Mac has always been about an amazing collection of songs that are performed with a unique blend of talents. We jammed with Mike and Neil and the chemistry really worked and let the band realize that this is the right combination to go forward in the Fleetwood Mac style. We know we have something new, yet it's got the unmistakable Mac sound. And the band said in a statement, we are thrilled to welcome the musical talents of the caliber of Mike Campbell and Neil Finn into the Mac family. With Mike and Neil, we'll be performing all the hits that the fans love. Plus, we'll be surprising the audience with some tracks from our historic catalog of songs. Fleetwood Mac has always been a creative evolution. We look forward to honoring that spirit on this upcoming tour. Lindsay Buckingham will not be performing with the band on this tour. The band wishes Lindsay all the best. A few days ago, Billy Burnett, who replaced Lindsay Buckingham in the 80s and in the 90s in Fleetwood Mac, tweeted that Lindsay was out, but he was not in. He quickly erased that tweet. Campbell goes back to 1981 with his association with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, where he played on Stevie Nicks' Belladonna. He played guitar on three songs, co-wrote Stop Dragging My Heart Around with Tom Petty. Of course, Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks first appeared on the 1975 self-titled Fleetwood Mac album, sometimes called the White Album. And it's amazing how those two musicians completely changed the direction of that band. Of course, after the White Album came rumors. This changes the dynamic of Fleetwood Mac quite a bit considering that Lindsey Buckingham was a real driving force. What do you think? Will you be seeing Fleetwood Mac without Lindsey Buckingham? It really changes the sound of the band because he was a big part of their sound. Let us know what you think. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, share our videos and comment on them as well. This is Rock History Music.